Hey guys, it's your girl Ed back with another video. As you could see from the title, I'm going to be opening the Glam Bag X. Yay! I haven't been this excited for a subscription box in a long time. If you're as excited as, as I am to see what's inside here, be sure to give me a like, hit the like, and subscribe to this channel where I'll unbox, do all kind of unboxings, talk beauty, do a little planning here and there. So join the, come on, join us. Um, all right, guys. So you, as you can tell, I'm really excited. I'm just like stuttering and stuff. I'm so excited <laughs> about this box. So Glam Bag X is a quarterly upgrade at Ipsy. Um, it's enough. If you have the MC Glam Bag, which is $25, you pay an additional $25 to get the Glam Bag X. Now, y'all, you know, I don't always be real excited about Ipsy, but this Glam Bag X, when I saw they were going to be, it was going to be curated by Patrick Ta, I was like, oh my goodness, I got to, I got to get this box. Oh, before I go any further, I wanted to just say, look, I don't always wear blue eyeshadow. I'm like, they don't think I always wear blue eyeshadow because I have blue eyeshadow on a lot. But today I was trying this new different look I saw someone do on Instagram, putting down black as a base. And I'm always scared to use black, um, intimidated by using black shadow. So I did, I tried to do that today. And you know, it's a little bit, I kind of do a little bit more on these edges, but. And between that and the snow and my flat tire, I couldn't even get my hair done this weekend. <laughs> so, um, you know, we making it work. So I'm gonna go inside this box. Um, I'm just really excited about it. Um, what I like how pretty it's this pretty purple. I love lavender. It's really pretty. It says Glam Bag X on the top. Oh, and somebody always asked me for the weight. So the weight for this box was 1.23, which I was so glad. Now that I have the shop app, you guys should get that app. It um, it, I love it. It tells me when stuff's on my way. It gives me like a little um, little. Whoop, whoop. Confetti falls from the sky when my package arrives. I just like, I just really love it. All right, so let's get in here. Right from the top, we have a little newspaper. Glam Bag X. Already, already better than the other one. Oh, and we have, um, I don't know if, you can, if it tells me us the cost of everything in here. It doesn't look like it does. Oh, it does. It does. I don't know if this is all my stuff, but it does have the products in here that you might get in, the, in here. I think that's what's in here. I don't know. Don't give me the line, guys. I'm not sure. Okay, so. Hmm. Okay, so I have. First thing I see is this complex culture little device that you can use on your, you know, I've seen people use these. I think I was seeing like, um, what's her name from Blackish? She was like, I think using one of these on her face once. And I was like, okay, so we got a, we got a tool. Okay. So we got us a little tool here. Um, I see it. Oh, okay. It says it's fifty-eight dollars. Complex culture, Sonic T bar, facial massager. All right. How does it make this work? How's it turn on? Hmm. Oh, oh I almost taking the battery out. Why do you turn it on? I don't know, guys. You smack it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to play with this to figure it out. I don't know how you, I don't know how you turn it on, but that's cute. All right, next, this was something I picked because I really do like these complex culture brushes. And so I picked this brush. So the only thing I would say about my picks, the choices I had, you know, were okay. Some of them were okay. And I, I do like these brushes. When I saw this was one of the choices I could get, I picked it because I like this these brushes. And this one is 
Um, the name of it is, um, it doesn't say it on the box. Oh, wait, wait, yes it does. It is Angled Foundation. So I thought I'd give this a try. Sometimes I like using a brush for my foundation. It just depends on the brush. So then I also picked this Gentle Thumbing Face Cleanser from First Aid Beauty. It was like the item that I selected. Um, I like First Aid Beauty and I always am happy to get a cleanser. I don't know if that's in here. Let me see. It's not there. It's not there. I don't see it in here to tell you guys the cost of that. This is the Probiotics and Superfoods Clean and Effective. This is by Tula. Rose Glow and Get It Cooling and Brightening Eye Balm. So that's what this is, an eye balm. Um, I don't know what an eye balm does. I'm going to have to read into that. <laughs> yes, Tula Skincare. Rose Glow and Get It Cooling and Brightening Eye Balm. Talk about a multitasker. This four in one eye balm instantly cools, brightens, hydrates, and minimizes the look of fine lines and wrinkles thanks to nourishing probiotics, circulation boosting caffeine, and skin smoothing plant oils. Its tip is reapply this balm throughout the day. It wears perfectly under and over makeup for an instant under eye pick me up. Okay, so you know I got older eyes, older skin, so I like to give this a try. I hope this will be okay. I had one tool of product that I used and it didn't it was like it didn't agree with my skin, but I think the balm I'll be okay. Next we have the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette Remastered. First of all, I like that it's in a box, right? That's nice because, you know, sometimes our stuff don't come in the box. I love that. Now, this palette, guys, this is an older palette. It's been around, but I have always wanted it, and I never got it. This is what it looks like. It's so pretty. I love her packaging. Oh, man. This is pretty. Here it is, guys. That. And, and I love how she always has these really pretty, like, because I like keeping these on palettes like this that are, like, folding. Because I like keeping the little overlay. And I love that she makes her so pretty. But that's pretty. Like, that's a good palette. You can't go wrong with that. That's a good standard one to have in your collection. Yeah, see how pretty that is? She's beautiful. That's good of beauty. Um... And that retails for $65, which is why I had never got it <laughs> to this point. All right. Then we have a blush from Patrick Ta. And I've always heard really good things about his blushes. So I'm excited about that. Oh, look at the packaging. Just luxurious. Did you see that? So pretty. Okay, so this is a good color I think for me it kind of reminds me of like I don't know like Benefit Dallas back in the day which I used to love that color yeah this is a velvet blush I think this is a good color for me this color is she's seductive mm -hmm. that's that Scorpio in me <laughs> and then guys I got a Pat McGrath Labs Fetish Mascara. Pat McGrath. Miss Pat McGrath. I'm excited about that. Well, oh, this is in a serious container. I can't just rip this open. I gotta cut it open. Let's see what this looks like. I'm so excited about that. Pat McGrath Labs. And this retails for $30. So anytime you get a $30 mascara, y'all. Let's see what this wand looks like. Oh, that's a good wand. 
Last month, I got that um, Ipsy gave me Anastasia Beverly Hills mascara, and I love that mascara. Like, it's, it's up there. It's up, it's up my favorites now. It's like at the top. So, that's my box, y'all. I really like it. I think this is a good box. Um, yeah, I'm happy with it. I no complaints here <laughs> let me know what you think guys what did you get in your boxes i've seen some people have different things in their boxes and i guess that's like based off of your choices so the only thing my only thing i would say about this hey guys guess what i went to go put everything back in my box and i saw that i forgot something i actually got a um I was wondering if I was gonna get this because I seen this in other people's openings and I was like, maybe I just didn't get it. But I got an About Face um, product, which is the new Housey line painted lip color. And this color, oh, this is right up my alley. Yes, I love colors like this. Let's see what it looks like going on. It's a little tiny little applicator. It has, mm, it has like a, it smell. Uh, uh, it smells almost like a, Mm. Mm, yeah I like that it's a pretty color it smells like a little bit like Vicks like or like pine like a little bit of like that oil that was in my like a uh, oil um yeah but I like that color mm -hmm. that's a color I definitely will wear not with this blue eyeshadow though <laughs> But I will wear this. All right. So let me know, guys, what you think about this box. Did you like it? Do we have some of the same products? Was there anything um, you didn't get that you wanted or something that you think I might have wanted that you got? Um, overall, I'm really happy with the box. I think it's um, good. I mean, I like the fact that um, there were some items in here that I didn't know I was getting. Like, I was worried about that because, you know, you go and you pick your three things and they show you two of the things you're getting. And it's like... I'm like, oh, I don't, it takes the fun out. And like, I like not knowing that some of the products I'm going to get. And so this was a surprise for me. This about, this about face product, this massager and the Pat McGrath mascara. Like this is such a great, I mean the Pat Mc, and then we got Patrick Ta and Huda Beauty. Yes. Ipsy's come in for BoxyCharm's neck with this box. Um, I'm going to see what BoxyCharm going to do next month with the um, Lex because this right here. This this box was great. <laughs> All right, guys. So thank you so much for joining me. If you um if you subscribe to the channel already, I appreciate you so much. Thank you guys. All right, talk to you soon. Bye.